Uh oh, bank crunching in this next episode. It's better doing it, not person. <laughs> as he helped to load the mailbags on the train. Billy then takes them to the town where a big office could sort the letters. One morning, Tim wasn't there. A postman they didn't know just dumped the bags on the platform and left without stopping to help. What's happened to Tim? wondered Peter's driver. And his old van, added the fireman. No wonder the new chap looks fed up. Carrying mag mail bags on a bank would make anyone miserable. Tim is back, but without his van. During his illness, it had been decided that the van was too expensive to run. Foot in wasn't cheerful and now he had no time to help load the train. I wish I could cheer him up, sighed Billy, the other tank engine. One day a man from the station office came to tell Tim that some papers needed signing. Oh dear, said Tim. This is going to make me a bit late. He was in a hurry and being careless. He put the bike beside Billy's train and rushed away. 
bitter was watered. Her death thought bitter. Now there's trouble. He started to move as his driver pulled the regulator. There was a crunch. Biller stopped. Biller's driver extracted the mains, the remains of the bag. But it was beyond repair. I'm sorry, Tim. You parked your bag in the wrong place and I've crunched it. Never mind, Billy, it wasn't your fault. And I never liked that bag much anyway. The next day, he didn't get another bag. He was waiting for Billy with a smile on his face. Billy came. He saw the brand new red van standing in the yard. Is that a smart new van you got there? Yes, it is. That accident did me a good turn, said Tim. My chief has decided to let me have another, a new one after all. So I did help, said Billy to himself as Tim was gone. But by accident, anyone might say. <laughs>